Hello everybody and welcome to the greatest bodybuilding cooking channel on the universe. Fantastic. I tried to find an online credible source of Arnold's actual diet and training plan leading up to the Mr. Olympia, but had no luck. So I skimmed through an old book I found in my room for the answers. The New Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Surely this will reveal some insight into the Austrian Oaks exercise and eating habits nearly half a century ago. So fun fact, I actually read this book like maybe eight years ago and unfortunately it doesn't have an exact diet in here. It doesn't have his contest diet but it does have a few guidelines that we're going to follow. Um, and I deliberately didn't watch a single video of anyone else's on the day in life of Arnold because I didn't want to make the same video as anyone else. But we're going to follow the guidelines in here for fat loss. The guidelines for fat loss are to keep protein high at around one gram per pound of body weight and to keep carbs low enough but not too low to go into ketosis and a dose of healthy fats. So I chose some of the recommended foods by Arnold himself and have come up with my Arnold diet for today. Six meals, 210 grams of protein, 120 grams of carbs and 70 grams of fat. But luckily we do have the workout plan in here. So I followed this workout plan maybe seven years ago and it was really enjoyable, but it just left me sore as hell because evidently I wasn't Arnold. I was just a 16 year old skinny Zach, but it is a lot of fun because we're doing a chest and back workout, um, which was always my favorite. So that's why I'm actually quite excited to give that another go. Um, and because the pump from that is just silly. So with that being said, let's start the day. So another late start to the morning. I know I said let's start the day, but it's, it's nearly 12 o'clock. Easy boy, easy. All good, it's a Sunday. Anyway, um, I never usually eat before my workouts, but I figured, because I've got like, what, these six meals to get through, uh, I may as well, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. I did have a refeed yesterday, so I'm curious to see if that impacts today's session, because it's gonna be a big session, so I, I planned it out. Um, but what we have is uh, oats here, because that is what Arnold used to enjoy. The oats are fantastic, that's what he said one time. And then um, the new OxyWay by EHP Labs. So this is just outstanding. I think it's actually all sold out, so I'm not gonna go tell you guys to buy it. Um, you can check, but it is so good. So this is chalk peanut butter. I'm gonna microwave this, put some of this in, and enjoy meal one before we train. So this protein actually has little bits of cereal in it. Not that you need that in oats, but still. Can you put berries with chocolate? Yeah, you probably can. Because as they say in the industry, you can put berries with anything. Taste test without the berries. Yum. Mmm. So sweet. I will put some berries in though. Berries. <laughs> Tomatoes. <laughs> Just keeping you guys on your toes. There we go. Bear loves berries. Here you go. Mmm. So, I'm gonna smash this down. And then the next time you guys see me, we're gonna demolish a chest and back workout. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be disgusting. So I don't know if you guys need to bring your vomit bags or something because it's gonna be gross. Anyway, see you in a bit. All right guys, so if you're listening to this, you'll be like, wait, where the hell's that voice coming from? And I'm in here. Hey, get out the frame. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I was doing it, I was already talking in there and then you ruined it. <laughs> Back to what I was doing though, before you so rudely jumped in the shot. Weapons of choice for today, Oxy Shred MPSI. Energy, pump, the pump. I'm gonna use this, can I use this? These feel nice. New glasses, because my old glass exploded out of nowhere. No temperature change, nothing, just exploded. Anyway. Mm, it tastes better drinking out of a new glass. Okay, so I just double checked the workout for today. And this is 50 sets. This whole workout is actually 51 sets, which is absolutely outrageous. Like that, this to me, looking at this, I can't believe I ever did this. Um, but the only thing I'm not gonna do is deadlifts because my back is weak as of like this last week. It's like really sore. So I'm not gonna do deads, but I'm gonna try to do everything else. I can pretty much do everything else here. A lot of triceps, supersets to 48 sets. Great. Get 
from the floor to the ceiling go nuts any sign of destruction's on us my adrenaline's pumping feel it all in my veins don't worry percussions then stay out the way like a lineman rushing to take them out of the game got the party jumping and tearing out of the frame i'm talking mosh pits jumping party not stopping Ceiling. That's how we on it. If you're not fit, here's a warning. Yo, stand up, stand up, hands up. So we are finished with the second exercise. Third one, we've got dumbbell flies and a wide grip barbell row. So far, I'm absolutely cooked. This is a silly amount of volume, but it takes me back to the old days. Single time we come through lit God shutting down is our conclusion DJ. And next up we are doing a tri-set so no more supersets This is three exercises back to back Cable flies, machine pullover which I'm just going to use the, the cables for And then dips which I'm going to have to improvise and use our stair master I think We don't take advantage we abuse it No flexing, no we finesse it We step up in this fire project exit Yes I'm talking mosh pit Jumping, party not stopping Ceiling. That's how we on it. If you're not fit, here's a warning. Yo, stand up, stand up, hands up, hands up. From the back to the front, we end up, we end up. And if you break it down, just to break the law, stand up, stand up, hands up, hands up. We end up, we end up. Go. That's a relief. Feels so much better. That was a stupidly hard workout. My hair looks like an absolute nutcase. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, ridiculous workout. I'm absolutely cooked. And um, I'm gonna go eat my second meal now, which is eggs on toast. <laughs> I don't know why that was so difficult to get out. Very simple meal. I've only just stopped feeling sick, like right now. I don't think I could stomach any meals, but I feel decent now. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, so I already recorded this, but audio wasn't on. All good, we'll do it again. This is post-workout meal, we have some eggs on toast. And this toast is so deceiving, by the way, it's Ezekiel bread, I don't know if that's how you say it or not, but it turns out it's got like that much fat in it because of all the bird seeds, that you may as well just eat like three pieces of normal bread, anyway. <laughs> Knew it. Absolute king of poached eggs. Again, smashed it. It's not bad, but it honestly tastes like there's bird seed in my bread that shouldn't be there. I don't know why you would eat bread with seeds in it. Somebody please enlighten me. Anyway, what I did want to talk about quickly though was um, that workout, because some of you might be thinking, I'm gonna give that a go. And by all means, if you want, do it, just because it's very, very hard. But I would never recommend anybody do that unless you have genetics like Arnold. That's the thing. I remember when I actually did that workout like years ago, I thought if Arnold did that, then that's what I should do. But it turns out I'm not Arnold. And something like that would make me, with that much volume, like 50 sets, it would just leave you absolutely dead. There's something, that's something you, you probably like 99% of you just couldn't recover from. And then you'd be left just feeling cooked, probably tear your shoulder blades off the bone and you wouldn't be in a good place. So, um, but stuff like that is still interesting though, just to see that sheer effort. And when you're supersetting as well, you just feel sick. It's like when you're training legs, chest and back, big muscle groups. Although it is good because they're antagonistic, which means as one stretches, the other contracts. So when I'm training chest, to do a back exercise, like stretching my lats, it, you get a stretch in the chest as well and it feels like really good. So in terms of the pump and um, efficiency of the workout, it's awesome, but you just feel sick. And that much volume, you could get away with doing like two, two working sets instead of four and it'd be more than enough. But um, that was Arnold. And he liked to do what he liked to do. Yes, and it's terrific. Lulu doing some egg wide. 
And Bia only gets the finest protein. See it? Good girl. <laughs> that was terrific. <laughs> right? Eating poached eggs is as satisfying to me as coming. <laughs> if you guys don't get that, if you don't get that reference, then you're gonna have to watch this next clip. Let's say you train your biceps. Blood is rushing into your muscles, and that's what we call the pump. It feels fantastic. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming with a mouse, I'm getting the feeling of coming in the house. I'm getting the feeling of coming in the boat, I'm getting the feeling of coming with a goat. I'm getting the feeling of coming in the box, I'm getting the feeling of coming with a fox. I'm getting the feeling of coming in the rain, I'm getting the feeling of coming on the train. I mean, I'm coming day and night. Cut, cut, Arnold. That is literally just a grotesque version of Green Eggs and Ham. I, I can't put that in the film. Hey, fuck you. It's terrific. <laughs> right? I mean, it's terrific, right? I don't know if I've ever heard of Green Eggs in the Cam. <laughs> you have to have seen Pumping Iron to get that. Please, if you haven't seen Pumping Iron, just watch it. It's, it's just the best. I feel like if you're into gym, you have to at least have seen Pumping Iron before. My Arnie accent is just terrific and fantastic. Right? At one point in there, he was mates with Franco Colombo, who was the other bodybuilder. And at one point he said, uh, <laughs> he goes, oh, he's just a quote, he goes, Franco is like a child, and on the day of the competition, he comes to me for advices. And how hard is it for me to give him the wrong advices? About his best mate, like, what? It's actually, what? It's so funny though. If anybody comes to me with, hey man, I want to start a YouTube channel, I want to get sponsored by Gymshark and EHP Labs. <laughs> How hard is it for me to give them the wrong advices? <laughs> right, so next meal we have a steak and some veg. So this watery bag of goodness, if you guys have never seen me cook a steak before on YouTube, um, then you're in for a treat. No, I'm actually not gonna do it, can't be bothered. I've done it so many times, but this is a sous vide steak. I shouldn't, that water shouldn't be there. So for the chefs watching me just cringing, apologies. Uh, I am in fact a chef myself, so I know how it feels. <laughs> um, but really this is like a water bath. So what it does is it just cooks a steak already and then all you do now is sear it. So I'm just gonna season this, salt, pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, fry it in a pan, add a little bit of butter and then steam my vegetables, put them in the pan and then put all of that on the plate and it should look something like this. Easy. Yeah, no. Hey, maybe tiny bit. Legit, one time I accidentally, I didn't accidentally do it, I gave Bear Wagyu beef, cooked up a Wagyu steak, and I was like, she'll love this. And then I gave it to her, and I could tell her whole brain just went like, this is food. I'm not eating shitty biscuits ever again. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the greatest bodybuilding cooking channel on the universe. <laughs> Today we're going to cook up fish and the vegetable. We have better Monday, not better Tuesday, not better Wednesday, not better Thursday, not better, forget, but better Monday. And what we're going to do is get the fish onto the carpet, coconut oil, just a spoon. Get down! Next, what you want to do is get your coating mix for fish and put it onto the fish. Yes, just like that, very good. Fantastic. Now that is there, we want a bit of salt. Look at that, that's terrific. And it's best friend, pepper, put him there. Get back! <coughs> Fantific. So this goes into the oven for about 15 minutes. Hey Siri, set the timer for 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes and counting. Fantastic. Hey Siri, do you even lift? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Girl, girl. Okay, next we're going to do the broccoli. With this, very easy. We're going to chop off the little trees and then we're going to microwave them. Straight into the microwave. Now the broccoli stalk is fantastic for the bean. <laughs> Am I wrong? 
We don't need that shit here. Take that negativity elsewhere. It's not that the broccoli is done. Look at that. That is just dreadful. It is shriveled into nothing. It looks like my nutsack, right? Into the pan. And then we're going to put the rice into it. The stir fry. Break. Because it's all about the flavor when it comes to bodybuilding. I mean, when it comes to cooking. I'm sorry, I'm still a copy with it. And the rice is going into the plate. And then it's... This is brown rice here, you can go white rice, you can go basmati rice. I mean, really, there are no wrong rices, <laughs> right? Anyways, fish is done. It's carefully... <clears throat> ah! It's very hot, it's not fantastic. Fish onto plate, more fish onto plate, fish onto plate. And that is how you make a very easy bodybuilding meal. White fish, vegetables, and the brown rices. It's actually real good. So time for dinner now. Gonna cook up some chicken breast. With... Hey, put that cookie down! Now! So you guys are be thinking, what the hell is this? <laughs> but uh, You like cookies, huh? You like cookies? Mm. You'll see soon enough. It's a secret. Oh. There's so many secrets. Every YouTube video I keep saying, it. something's coming, something's coming. And then I'm just very, I haven't delivered on it. But um, we're doing our best. Honestly, we're doing our best. But all I can say is, it's going to be the best thing you guys have ever seen. Now, for my dinner. We're just having chicken and vegetables tonight. Pretty, uh, pretty easy, nice and easy. Cutting staple for me anyway. But one thing I do differently is, I beat the living shit out of my chicken. Serious. I actually do beat the living shit out of the chicken. And because mum instilled some very weird <laughs> fears and phobias into me, I have to wear a glove when I cook chicken. I don't know about you guys, but did your mum tell you that things would kill you when they wouldn't? Like you can't eat cookie dough because the raw eggs are gonna kill you? Because that's what, that's what me and Joel got. Mum, do you wanna explain yourself on, on camera for the record? You need a deterrent for everything. Yeah, that's fair. Can't argue with that. Oh, now I've done it. I, this is my beating hand and this is my gloving hand. <laughs> you prick! What's that chicken? Sorry. Fuck you. Sorry. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> and this is like what I do for chicken when I'm lazy. Just southern fried. Over the top of this. Pummeled, bashed out, defeated, and deflated chicken. This chicken's not telling a soul what has happened to it tonight, that's for sure. And that is literally as simple as it gets, but I'm gonna try one of these arancini balls. Oh, how good. Cheesy goodness. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mad you went from fed, huh? <laughs> these are so good. If you guys don't know what this is, it's risotto balls. If you don't know what risotto is, it's rice in a cheese sauce. Get the rest of it sorted. One thing I love about the cutting is Tim Tams. That's what Arnie said. Oh, it did. So I'm in the pantry, obviously. This mic's on. Grapes. <laughs> Grapes? Mm. You like the fucking taste of it, though. <laughs> mm mm. <laughs> That's gonna be so weird. It's not a surprise, put it that way. That's it? <laughs> Smashed it. So what we have, chicken breasts, which I put some barbecue sauce and low fat cheese on, and then some snow peas, just cooked in coconut oil with a bit of perinase on there. This is like my go-to cutting meal. So Arnie definitely didn't eat this, but that's why I've adapted the diet. What do you got in there? Yogurt, aioli, hummus. Garlic, cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's tiriti. It's yeah. fantastic. Oh, this is actually really good. Might Can you cut me a quarter? I do. Oh, oh, that's mine? Yeah. This is definitely not Arnie's dinner. This is homemade economiyaki. Japanese pancake. 
mom smashed it. And there's one thing I love in my diet is ekonomiyaki. I mean, am I wrong? Oh, that's so good. Mm. Now that makes his piece taste like shit. No, I don't like that. No, neither. That's disgusting. <laughs> Sickening. Okay. Oh, and my head's chopped out. Great. <laughs> Just throwing the shit everywhere. Full fat cottage cheese, apparently a staple. It's a stapler. I don't really, I don't know how I feel about cottage cheese. It's, it's all right. But then I feel like it's a bit sickening and sometimes I haven't want to throw up because I think, is this just cheese? I'd much prefer yogurt, but I didn't see that in the list of the foods that they recommended. But either way, it is a slow digesting source of protein. So good for before bed. And I'm going to flavor it with some oxy whey because it's so nice. And it's the only way. Protein and fats here. And we're gonna add a little bit of scrotum. A little bit nuts. His approach was a relatively low carb, but not to go into ketosis. So if you don't know what that means, basically as soon, if you have your carbs way too low, your body will start um, producing ketones and it, it's like a different energy source. So um, some people love it. I don't know why. I don't know why they didn't wanna get into ketosis. I think because they thought that that meant that they were depleted. So the logic seems like it's enough carbs not to be depleted, but then the rest is just with fats, so you don't go too low on calories. So like I said, this whole diet has been like, for me, for my needs, but with their principles, with his principles, because there's no point in me just finding a diet and eating 4,000 calories, because it just wouldn't be fun. <laughs> and plus I'm dieting now, I've got like a shoot in two weeks, so I'm doing my best. It's nice and sweet but it's still a little bit sickening. So who in their right mind would just eat a bowl of cheese? <laughs> if someone said, yeah, just have a bowl of cheese if you're still hungry before bed, you'd be like, no, thank you. I love something decent. That said, I'm still eating it and I'm enjoying it. Okay, so I'm gonna duck out, watch some Netflix, and I will see you guys in the morning for a little bit of a recap, as per usual. Is that we good? We all good? Okay guys, so it is the next day, give or take a couple days. Um, and I know what you're thinking. And yes, I did manage to squeeze in a quick haircut in the, in the time between these videos. All good? All good. All good. <laughs> Plot twist, it's been like four weeks. No, it was, it was actually a couple days. Um, but to sum up that video, basically, um, re-watching the footage, it kind of looks like I just did my own thing and just like disregarded Arnold's plan altogether and just decided to eat what I wanted to eat, which is not the case. I just I took the, the foods that he liked to eat, apparently, and then I took the principles and then I made them into a diet and I tried to make that as nice as possible. So, um, hence the, the parma for dinner. Anyway, um, that is pretty much it for this video, I think. The one thing I did want to address is um, recently, in the last couple of days, I've seen Will Tennyson, Gymshark mate, uh, has challenged me for my next video. But I'm gonna specifically challenge three other people. First up, the Australian pool boy, Zach Perna, pretty much his arm day volume. I think it's 100,000 pounds of volume in the gym and then 100 of something as a post-workout meal. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it, whether I do it now or uh, after my photo shoot in two weeks, I'm not too sure yet, but I need your help guys. So comment in the comments below something that I should have 100 of as a post-workout meal. So. I'm thinking like 100 chicken wings maybe, or he did 100 McNuggets. So I, I mean, I could try that. That would be pretty brutal, but um, you guys always have some great ideas. So put them in the comments below, but I'm just saying it's gonna happen. It's definitely gonna happen. And um, that is it for this video, guys. So I did hope you enjoy it, and uh, you definitely, definitely know what to do. Stay fantifi. <laughs> Slide into your DMs in the PM and the AM. Then I slide into your feelings when you see just what I'm saying.